youtubers welcome to my cooking channel guys today we're going to be doing a very interesting recipe that is prawn biscuit what i love most about this one is the fact that we're going to be utilizing the things that you usually throw away like shells heads to make a very interesting prawn biscuit without waste of any time guys let's just get into it I'll start off by slicing my onions, carrots, leeks, and celery. This is basically my mirror pose. Then heating my saucepan over medium high heat, adding a little bit of oil and butter. Then saute my mirepoix, making sure that you are not going to give any color. I want everything to be translucent, no browning. For the breathtaking aroma, I'm going to be using my usual garlic and bay leaf. These ones are my best when it comes to intensifying, like giving that good aroma, good smell. Yeah, okay. While my mirror pose is getting ready, I'll be on the side in a pan, sauteing my shells and my head. This one is over time proven to also enhance the overall flavor of the outcome okay with everything looking good it's time to add my prone heads and shells into the saucepan and saute everything together While stirring, try to be crushing your shells and heads to extract the flavor that is inside. And also, I'm going to add my tomato pesto, then stir everything together, and then my brandy. This one is also good for flavor. Then lastly adding my white wine and my pocket gun then filling and covering everything with my chicken stock. So we're basically going to increase temperature to a boiling 
then immediately when you reach this temperature we're going to also reduce again to a simmer and then cook for a good i'll say four to five minutes to extract all those flavors that are stuck or inside our shells and heads For thickening guys, I'm going to utilize ben mari. That is basically equal parts of uncooked flour and butter. Okay, towards the end guys, season and test with spices and salt and adjust if necessary. On the side I'm going to saute my prawns, basically these I'm using them for like garnishing. Okay it's time to sieve everything and be left with the finest prawn biscuit without all these residues and shells and heads that are not edible. Then after I'm going to return my prawn biscuit into the saucepan over medium low heat then add my cream then kind of like whisk and mix everything together to have that smooth flowing consistent thickness. As you can see guys, the consistency, the color, the thickness, everything is on point. If I could rate it out of 10, it's definitely a 10 or a 9 maybe. Thank you for tuning in guys. Until next time, ciao.